Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, yeah, you see what I got. Let's open one of these up, check it out. All right, let's get this started. So as you can see, I've got six of these Imperial Clone Shock Troopers. Um, first and foremost, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I like troopers, and you know I like the Army Bill troopers because they're troopers, and I don't know, it's the military guy in me. I just think these are the best figures they are, is the troopers. Uh, I mean, that's just me. Um, first and foremost, questions. Greg, how did you get so many? I worked at it. It's a uh, Walmart drop. So I got the link and went to the website. Boom. You could order two. I ordered two. And later on in the day, the link was live again. I had my email notifications turned on to let me know when it was back up. I got an email. Boom. Ordered two more. Once again, turned on the uh, alerts. And a few hours later, boom, back online, I ordered two more. And that's how you have to do it. <clears throat> I mean, you have to work at it. And some days it works, and some days it doesn't. So I'm just saying, you won't win every single time you try. But sometimes you do. And this was one of those times that evidently there wasn't a lot of people, you know, getting them at that particular time frame <clears throat> excuse me but it started early and it was just it was just the way it worked out so i was able to purchase these from walmart they came in really really quick um i mean there wasn't nothing special about the boxes i mean some of these boxes actually are sort of dinged up i don't care because it's an army so we're going to take we're going to take one out of the box. We're going to re, uh, look at it. We're going to review it. Um, I think these are cool. I like the shock troopers. I really do. So <clears throat> excuse me. So there it is in the box. I will tell you this: there's already a, one thing that's a little weird. I'm, I'm not going to say weird, but I think I already find, found one thing that I don't know if I'm going to be extremely happy with. But honestly, I am happy because I've got my next little army build going. So anyway, let me get this out of the box and we'll uh, take a closer look at the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. All right, so here we go. We got the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. Uh, doesn't come with a lot, but does come with the normal weapons that we're used to seeing with uh, any of the trooper figures. Uh, pretty much standard. I, if I had to guess, Hasbro probably has a million of these already manufactured just in a barrel somewhere. But there's the long, long blaster right there. Detail, as always, looks really good. The figure itself is the thing that has me the most interested because number one's a shock trooper. I think these are really cool because of the red uh, and the white. But it's uh, it's a cool looking figure, boy. Check out that head sculpt. Head sculpt. Helmet sculpt. Right there. Got the pauldron. Again, it's a uh, hard and hard leather, but got some good texturing on it, which is really really cool. Do have some chipping effects on the armor. Got the nice texture right there on the undersuit. Moving on around to the belt. Uh, the red belt with the white canister. Pretty cool. I will say this, that the uh, there's a lot of detail in the belt that I think with uh, a little bit of a wash or something would bring it out really, really nice. But overall, I dig it. We got the uh, stripe here on the uh, thigh armor, which again, it's a almost, there's no clean edges on it, which is interesting. It's also on the bicep armor too, which it's almost like they sort of did it in the field. 
It's pretty neat. Got the uh, solid red calves, red boots. I do like this gray right here on the, the sole of the, the boot or shoe. Uh, but yeah, there's not a lot of chipping. There's actually no chipping on the lower half compared to the upper half. That's, that could be something that I think would have made it a little bit because you got chipping here on the armor, on the chest, on the shoulders, the ragged edges on the paint. So a little bit of chipping down through here I think would be cool. But hey, still a trooper, so I'm happy. Uh, as far as articulation goes, side to side on the head, not a lot, nothing on the back. Uh, tilt forward's good. This uh, shoulder armor here, curious about that. Actually, about all the shoulder armor, tell you the truth. So, so it does look like this moves a little bit. So if you lift, lift it up here, you should be able to get a little bit more rotation and uh, upper movement on the shoulders right there. This side may be a little more difficult. There's not a lot right there. And that's just because this shoulder pauldron, so you can't lift up the, the actual shoulder armor. But there you go on that. No bicep swivel, elbows. That looks like that's about it right there. Other side. All right, so it looks like it goes a little past 90. That's cool. Uh, ab, ooh, wow. Lower back, good. Ab crunch is okay. Side to side is good. Has a good waist uh, rotation. Hips, curious on those, but again, all of us that have troopers, we understand articulation. But the clone troopers, like the Lieutenant and the Phase 1s, they actually have some really good articulation. So that's that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's check out the knees. Oh, yeah. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. Ankles, normal. A little bit of side to side. But overall, the joints on this actually feels... Pretty good. Like I said, the only limitation is going to be this uh, pauldron right here, but that's that's to be expected, and I'm okay with that. Would that be cool if this could actually come off? I think it would, but I'm okay with that. So, yeah. Very cool-looking figure. I dig it a lot. So, I tell you what. Let me... Uh, let me get something posed up. We'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on the new Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. All right. Here they are, guys. Got them all posed up. You know, nothing crazy. Just, you know, just some simple little poses uh, just to sort of show you how cool an out-of-box squad actually looks. Uh, technically, it's not a squad, but hey, you know. We can call it whatever we want. Uh, but these are some really, really cool figures. I love how they all just sort of group together. Um, it's, it's, they're great. What can I say? Um, I did want to talk about a little tip if, if you want to uh, talk about it. So with six figures, you actually get 12 weapons. Uh, a little tip that I use, because especially on the ones that I save the boxes, um, I actually leave weapons actually in these uh, clamshells because there's no need, there's really no need to unbox all the weapons. I mean, I've got three of the long blasters, three of the short blasters. Um, so this is a good, easy way to store your extra blasters. Uh, unless you're getting rid of the boxes, uh, but these boxes are really cool looking. I love the slants. They display good, and you could put the extra blasters back in the boxes and put the boxes uh, on their ends, so they'll display fine, and that way you'll uh, always keep track of everything, but does this not look cool or what? I'm just saying. Um, I do have a little bit of reservations um, 
Overall, I think they're great. But I can always find something that throws me off. And the thing that's throwing me off right now, it appears to me anyway, that there's about three different shades of red going on. Uh, the, the armor red, all of it looks good. The pauldron um, red here is a little darker, but the helmet red, the helmet red is what is throwing me off. It's lighter. It's not the same color as the armor on the body, and it's not the same color as the pauldron. It's... Um, it's it's muted. It's a it's a there's a shade off, and that's a that's disappointing. I think if the helmet color would have been the same as the uh, armor, um, that that would have made it awesome uh, to me. But that's the one thing I can definitely find that is a negative. Um, and, and you guys know me, I will, I'll tell you straight up on something if I don't like it. Uh, but that's, that's it right there. But is it, is it a deal breaker? No, it's not. Does it still make for some amazing figures? Yes, it does. Um, again, as always, if there was a couple of more, uh, hand, hands that come with it, that'd be great. But yeah, these are so cool. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Let me know if you were able to pick up some of these at uh, uh, Walmart's website when they went live. And I know there's people, I know I'm going to get some negative stuff. I know it. You know, why are you hoarding? Blah, blah, blah. I get it. But again, if you have followed my channel for any length of time, you know this is what I'm into. You know I don't sell them. You know I don't flip them. None of this other stuff. These are mine. I paid for them. I did the work for them. But, hey, army building is army building. And sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. So, anyway, definitely let me know. I want, I want to know if you actually picked any of these up. I want to know if your helmet colors were a little different, if the shade was off a little bit. Um, yeah. These look so cool. I'm just saying. And as you can see by this one here, there is actually some really good articulation with these. Uh, it's, my joints are a little, little stiff, so be careful. Uh, but not bad stiff. So, but... Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review video of the new Trooper Down. <laughs> wow. Really, dude? There's always one in every squad. You know, he's he's the clown. I, I can already tell it. He's the squad clown. But uh, back to what I was saying, let me know what you think. Definitely leave me a comment. Let me know if you found any of these. Let me know if you are going to, you know, get multiples and build your own little squads and armies or whatever. Um, I'm a big fan of army building. I, I don't blame anybody that ever does it because you just can't get one. It, one doesn't look right. A pair looks okay. Three looks pretty good, but, I mean, seriously, come on. I mean, this looks good. I mean, even if you put them in stat static poses without any kind of like, you know, weapons up or anything like that, they would still look good. So, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel and if you enjoy this type of content, please do me a favor and consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure you turn notifications on. And one last thing, always remember toys refreshes your soul and i'll see you next time